twin-seater trainers and single-seater attack maritime jaguars that taxi out of the dragon's dispersal. All the four aircraft have been configured for a 90-minute bombing sortie. Their target, a simulated enemy fleet almost 540 kilometers into the Arabian Sea. Jaguars generally wheel down the runway at almost 300 kilometers per hour before taking off. It's no different today as the quadrant rolls down the runway and gets airborne. Their powerful 8,400 pound twin jets burning almost 300 kilograms of aviation turbine fuel a minute at this stage. Within minutes of getting out of the city's airspace, it's time for all the Jaguar pilots to radio out the traditional coasting out signal, an indication that the formation has just crossed the western coast. These sea strikers may have just entered familiar terrain, but navigating over a featureless sea, especially at low levels, is a task best shared by all the members of the formation. Most of the pilots on this deep penetration strike exercise have clocked over a thousand flying hours on their Jaguars. And yet, every sortie brings with it fresh challenges. In fact, this exercise almost seems uneventful until the passive warning receiver on one aircraft picks up a pair of enemy interceptors headed in their direction. Contact, two bogeys, 50 nautical miles west of Bullseye. The formation leader immediately orders a split. Roger, Tuncu, Sierra, 1 o'clock, 60 nautical miles. Beam lift, on course, 330 now. While one pair continues towards their target, the other pair takes a detour to counter the enemy fighters. It would now have to be a test of the Jaguar's electronic warfare capabilities in a beyond visual range air combat situation. But the interceptors prove to be easy targets. Not only do the Jaguar's pilots mislead the enemy's missiles with flares, but they are also to neutralize them with their magic missiles. With the interceptors out of the way, it's time to retrace the route towards their target. The pair will have to continue to fly as low as 50 feet above the sea to avoid enemy radars, but flying low is not as easy as it sounds. They will be defended. Fortunately, there are no more interruptions and the mission is accomplished. And as dust settles over the western sky, these super specialized maritime strike Jaguars wrap up another bombing exercise. Just another day in the sky for these dragons as they head back to base. But before they approach the runway, the aircraft align themselves for pair landings. It's a training concept that is practiced regularly in this squadron as an alternative to cockpit instrument failure where one aircraft uses her partner as reference while landing. 